Okay, I'm Tommy Spencer from Hampton, Virginia. And how long have you been playing with race cars for? Oh, since 1975. That particular car I bought in 2011, and it was Tommy Humphrey's car. And uh, they, they were very successful with it uh, years ago, and, and it's an older car. And uh, we outfitted it with a, a Dodge engine. We're the only one with a Dodge engine. And uh, we've got one win with the car and, and multiple top five finishes. And uh, it's been a very consistent car. It's finished third in the points a couple of times. It's finished fourth in the 100 lap race. Uh, several times uh, We've been lacking forward drive and we did these updates to try to try to improve the forward drive in the car The whole car turns pretty good, but can't uh, can't get off the corner without spinning the tires Rather than build a whole new car. I thought it was worth investing in, in uh, the upgrade in the back half uh, The rest of the car seemed to be working pretty good. So we're gonna go with that. I uh, Grew up as my neighbor was Bill Champion he had number 10 Bush Grand National car back in the, in the 60s and 70s. When I was a kid and I walked home from school, I walked past his race shop every day. And I started hanging around there when I was about 12 years old and working on the race cars. And uh, then we got into go-kart racing at Langley, at Langley Speedway. I raced go-karts uh, back in the 70s. And uh, then it progressed from there into, uh, I've been on uh, several different crews with, with late model teams and, and other, other uh, divisions over the years, and uh, found some success in, uh, in the Pro 6 division at Langley, uh, which is a little straight rail car with a V6 engine. And I've got uh, five track championships with four different drivers in that division as a crew chief. And uh, I've been a crew chief on several different late model teams, modified teams, uh, worked with uh, Corey LaJoy at Rockingham in a, a UARA late model uh, Deal. We, we won uh, the race at Rockingham in Randy Sears' car. It was a late model stock. So uh, I've been around quite quite a while, and uh, I was very fortunate in 2016. Uh, I was able to work with MDM, and uh, they fielded ARCA cars, trucks, and K&N cars. And the owners of the company, uh, I did a late model program for one of their sons, and I did a Pro 6 program for, for the other owner's son. And I was able to spend a lot of time at MDM with Marty Lindley and Mark McFarlane and uh, those guys down there and spent some time on the pull down rig and, uh, you know, learned a lot about the geometry and the different, different stuff that, you know, makes these things tick. And uh, so I was very fortunate in that regard. You know, I was around some really smart people. The racer's mentality. I mean, all the racers want to win. Uh, my mentality is I want to be on top of the board. Every practice, I want to sit on the pole and I want to lead every lap. I said, when we go to the races, that's, that's what we shoot for. You know, anything less than that is a disappointment. 